So to have some kind of login system, we need to be able to log into our system and we need a user for that, right? So I'm going to create a user, but when I mouse over here, there's no, I cannot click it. It says you need to enable email and password as sign in method right here. And of course, there's a sign in method right next to the user here. So let me just zoom even more uh, like this. Uh, I think I lost my menu, there we go. So you can actually press the sign in method and here you can see all the different things you can do. You can do email, you can do Google sign in, you can do anonymous sign in. We're going to focus on email and anonymous and probably the GitHub one because you probably all have a GitHub account right now if you want to build your own code. But I'm going to enable this guy right now. Click and say save. And by the way, there's a rule. Here's something you have to pay for. So if you have too many of these guys, um, then you will actually be told to start paying. But I'll just keep, I'll just start out by just enabling the um, email and password one. Then I'll go back to user. So now I can add my first user and here I'll add my email and my password and sadly, I don't know why, but they actually made the password so that you can see when you're writing them. So I'm not going to do that in the video, I'm just going to add a password and press add user. So now my first user is actually added and I can now actually lock into this a beautiful new application, I'm, uh, a REST API I made called CP2 REST. We'll try that in the next lesson where we'll try to start putting this into Angular 2 slowly and then try to get access to this actual uh, database that we have right here using our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Firebase and Angular 2. See you next time. Have fun.